Hi, Assalamualaikum. So in this video, we're going to discuss about the answer for pre-lab 1, experiment 1, basic technique in microscopy. For experiment 1, the linear outcome is at the end of this lesson, students should be able to identify parts and function of light compound microscope, describe characteristic of image observed by microscope and also calculate actual magnification. So before answer uh, the pre-lab 1, you should read over the lab manual and then answer the following question. For question number 1, what is light compound microscope? Light compound microscope is referred to the microscope which has two sets of lens which is ocular lens and objective lens. So, in matriculation, we use compound light microscope which has A which is referred to ocular lens and the magnification power is 10 times and then the objective lens is point by D. So, light compound microscope is referred to microscope which has two set of lens, the ocular lens and the objective lens. Equation number two. How do we hold the microscope properly? The answer is by holding the arm and base of the microscope. Holding the arm and the base of microscope. Arm is point by T and base is point by K. So to hold the microscope properly, we need to hold the arm and base at the same time. Question number three. When do we use the oil immersion objective lens? The answer is when we observe microorganism under 100 times objective lens. Okay. Objective lens is point by D. So we have four types of objective lens. The scanning lens with the magnification is four times followed by low magnification lens the magnification power is 10 times high magnification power lens the magnification power is 40 times and the oil emission lens with the magnification power is 100 times so oil emission lens is only can be used when we use 100 times objective lens. For question number 4, what is the highest magnification should we focus before use oil immersion objective lens? So before use oil immersion objective lens, the highest magnification power is at 400 times means we use the objective lens of high magnification power lens with the magnification power is 40 times so after we get a clear image under 40 times objective lens then we can use the oil immersion objective lens equation number five Based on figure 1, identify the component of light compound microscope. For A, is ocular lens. Function is to magnify the real image and convert it to virtual image. C, is rotating nose piece. This is the structure which objective lens are mounted. D is objective lens. A function is to magnify the specimen at different magnification power. The body arm. E. Metal part used to carry the microscope. G. Stitch. Is the horizontal surface on which the specimen is placed. I. Is condenser. Used to focus and deliver light to the specimen. J. Light source. To emit light to the specimen. K is the base. Heavy cast metal part used as the base and support. L. Force adjustment node. Used to bring specimen into focus by moving the stage to the specimen. 
So the stage it can be moved by rotate the course of adjustment knob. And M is referred to fine focus adjustment knob, which used to bring the specimen into the focus while using high power or all emission objective lens. For the experiment, first question, draw the orientation of L observed by the light compound microscope in figure 2. So the answer is L will be converted from left to right, downside to upside. For question number 2, based on figure 3, state the relationship between magnification and depth of field. The answer is as magnification increase, the depth of field smaller or narrower. For example here, magnification power for objective lens four times we can see ybr with empty space for objective lens with the magnification power is 10 times we can see ybr but the empty space become narrower while when using objective lens 40 times we just can focus for letter r so it means that as magnification increase the depth of field is smaller the next question Based on figure 4, state the relationship between magnification and the field of view. The answer is, as the magnification increase, the field of view is smaller. So, for example, here lah. Okay, when the magnification power increase, for example, here, 40 times objective lens, why B cannot be seen? We just only can see R. So, means, when the magnification power increase, the field of view becomes smaller. Next question, the above formula is used to determine the actual magnification of a specimen. You are given a specimen of Astrea coli to observe its shape and color. Calculate the actual magnification to observe the specimen. Okay, the formula to observe actual magnification is magnification power of objective lens time magnification power of ocular lens. So in this case, 10 times tens so the answer is 100 times magnification all right see you in the next video bye